Hey YouTube, it's your boy D7 here and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak the latest iOS 6.1.3 with the most up-to-date version of Snowberry's 0.9.14. Now, there's a couple of things you guys need to know before we start, like, why choose Snowbreeze? Well, Snowbreeze brings a couple of extra add-ons that the other jailbreak tools do not, like the ability to hacktivate, uh, meaning you'll be able to activate a device without a SIM card, without a legit SIM card. Also, this has the ability to automatically preserve the baseband. So if you're on an unlockable baseband, i.e. for iPhone 4, it's 0159, for iPhone 3GS, it's 0650. Uh, 0615 which is the iPad baseband you'll also be able to uh, preserve that to then unlock with ultra snow so devices supported are as follows untethered untethered jailbreak for iPhone 3GS old boot ROM tethered for iPhone 3GS new boot ROM iPhone 4 CDMA and GSM and iPod touch fourth gen so what I've done is I've taken the liberty of uh, bringing back my 3GS to uh, stock iOS 6.1.3 no SIM card so I can show you the hacktivation part I'll also show you the unlock uh, part of that later on in the video so let's just jump straight in okay guys so of course make sure that the device is running iOS 6.1.3 and that it is connected to your PC at this stage you're going to need two downloads and the links are in the video description as always the first one will bring you here to I hate snow site where you can download Snowbreeze 2.9.14 click on the title and make sure to save it to your desktop. The second link will bring you here where you can download the iOS 6.1.3 for your respective supported device. Now as you can see I'm using iPhone 3GS 6.1.3 and then once selected click on the download box and again make sure to save it to your desktop. So now your desktop is going to look like this. You're going to have two downloads. It's the Snowbreeze in a zip file and the iOS Lego block. Now just a word of advice, if the uh, IPSW um, is downloaded as a zip file, you have two options. One, use Firefox, it will always download the iOS um, as the Lego block. Or you can change the uh, file extension from .zip to .ipsw, uh, whichever is easiest for you. So now we proceed with right clicking on the Snowbreeze uh, zip file, click extract here. So we then get the uh, folder click into the folder and then double click on the exe to run the Snowbreeze tool. Uh, we'll click OK. And again, it's reiterating at the start what I said um, at the beginning of the video. This is tethered for iPhone 3GS new boot ROM, iPhone 4 CDMA GSM and iPod Touch 4th Gen. This is untethered for the old boot ROM 3GS. So we click to continue bottom right hand corner. Uh, within the tool it's nice you get a backup you can have download ios firmwares if you want from the tool but i've also given you a link as well um, to proceed we need to select the ipsw once again i always say save it to the desktop it's the easiest place to find it and we're pointing 6.1.3 at snowberries so of course right now it's uh because it's detected the 3gs ios it's asking me is it old or is it new boot rom i know for a fact it's old boot rom if you're not too sure, you can actually have uh, it detect it for you. So it's real nice, simple tool to use. So, of course, I know it's the old boot ROM. I can then continue. We're going to select expert mode. Once again, this automatically preserves the baseband. So if you're an unlocker, this is great for you because it just automatically preserves that unlockable baseband. So I can go to general and then we can continue. Uh, I'm going to activate because I haven't got a SIM card installed. I'm also going to install SSH. just saves a little bit of time uh, at a later date. Uh, we can also um, change the root partition. I'm going to keep it as it is. That's fine. 1450. We can then continue. So right now I can, because it's the old boot ROM 3GS, I can change its boot logo. So I can uh, browse. Let's just browse for something different. And let's have that as the original so again this is an option for the iphone 3 just old boot run uh, then we can add packages if you wish dot debs you can upload them at this stage i'm not going to do that then all we need to do is click on build ipsw and continue with the right click now as it's building we can play uh, pac-man if you wish <laughs> Uh, 
Okay guys, so now that we've uh, completed creating the custom iOS, uh, what I'm gonna do now is take out our screen recorder and show you um, via the camera putting the device into a pwned DFU state, which is the next stage. Okay guys, so we're exactly at the same stage as we were when I took it out of screen recorder. What we're gonna do now is once we press okay, it's gonna give you instructions to set the device into a DFU stage and then it will pwn it for you to then uh, install the iOS through iTunes. So of course, make sure the device is connected to your PC at this stage. We then press okay and it's gonna give us instructions to set the device into DFU mode. So what we need to do first is turn the device completely off and then click start on Snowbreeze. So it's home and power button for 10 seconds. Release the power button and keep your thumb on the home button. Okay, so now it's in a...